Okay, now before we start, I know some of you have been out here before. Okay, here's the deal. We are going to start washing from the ends into the middle. But before you ever put a brush on any kind of granite, any kind of stone, make sure you spray it first. Okay, we just have to do that. That way the stone's already wet. It's going to help cure whatever dirt's on it so we can scrub it off quickly. So what I am instructed is, in order for us to put a brush on the wall, soap on the wall, it really has to be wet down first. It helps get the rough grime off of the wall, lubricates the wall, and then we can take the soap and brush to it. And the soap that we use is highly concentrated, made specifically for this type of stonework. So it helps preserve it, bring out the luster, so we the visitor and the family members can see the names on the wall. And as we wash this wall, we do it panel by panel. Yeah. And we start on the ends. The way this is set up is chronologically. So if you look at the center right behind us, it's the date of first casualty. And as it goes out towards the east, which is this corner over here, it's 1968. The west corner is 1968, which was the worst year of the war. Back towards the center. And that avenue, that respects you at the start of the war and at the end because this wall is supposed to heal. So how we wash this wall is helping to close the wounds of war. We start at the ends, the panel, and the walkway, and we work towards the center where the beginning of the war meets the end, as if helping to close the wounds of that war.